A good source for information on acquiring levy building materials is your county or city emergency management office. We're going to talk a little bit about pumping and how we manage the seepage once we've got our sandbag levy or sandbag and, fl and flashboard levy in place. We need to manage. There is going to be seepage that comes in near what you're trying to protect and so we're looking at a, a few different types of pumps here. The first one we have is just a, a gas powered trash pump. One thing about this is it's kind of high maintenance because every couple hours you're going to have to check that gas tank and make sure that we have gas in it. It's not automatic. It's got to, it's got to have water on the intake. We've got the big intake here. The intake end will sit in either a sump or uh, it could even be a backup you know, into your basement or, or anything. That This will sit uh, in a low spot uh, just so long as we don't clog the intake with debris. It's gas powered. It's run by a little five horse gasoline engine. It's got a two inch discharge. It'll come out over the top. Make sure that the end of your discharge hose gets out so you're getting the water well away from what you're trying to protect and you're not eroding the base beneath your sandbag levy. This is a floating pump here. Uh, you can see that the intake is in the base. You can see these holes, that's uh, where the water comes in. This will just sit in a basin in your backyard or whatever you're trying to protect. If it's collecting water, there's a low spot. You can just drop this in there. It'll float. It's run by a gasoline motor. It's got a six inch discharge hose. Again, you get that over to the top of your levee and get it out away from what you're trying to protect. Again, it has some maintenance to it. You have to continue to fill it with gas, and, uh, but otherwise it just pretty much sits in a pond of water and will continually pump so long as it has water for which the base can sit in. The last pump, and it's kind of an old one here, but it's still a good one, it's uh, just an old sump pump, an electric sump pump, and this is what most homeowners use. Uh, they've usually got electricity. This one's been modified so it has a garden hose discharge on it rather than the uh, inch and a half sump discharge. They'll run continually if they're just plugged into a power source and pump out an awful lot of water. If an electric sump pump is used out in the yard, in the, maybe, maybe you sink a garbage can and use that as your basin, you definitely want to make sure that the circuit is, is uh, ground fault protected because then any moisture that gets in, into the system, it'll quickly click that out and there won't be any danger to humans. They also will come with a float on them so that you can put them in a basin and if there's no water in it, it won't run. And if the float kicks on, then it will run. This one is nice in that it doesn't require a lot of maintenance. You can plug it in, walk away from it. When the water's there, it'll pump it. When the water's not there, it won't, and nothing will be damaged. It doesn't usually have the capacity of many of the uh, gasoline-powered pumps. The type of levy you have, where it is, and how well it works will dictate how much pumping you need in order to keep up with the water. You just have to gauge it on how much water is there, how much you can live with, because you're going to have to live with some ponding. You just kind of have to figure it out kind of on the fly. The discharge hose is going to depend on what type of pump you have and how much it can pump. That pump there, you're going to need a hose something like this. If you use a little plastic hose, it's just going to blow it out. Eventually, it's going to crack it or break it. It may not even be able to connect. A lighter one like this, again, this has been even pared down to use a garden hose. And if a garden hose running full time is enough, then that's all you need. You want a heavy enough hose that you're, you're going to make sure that it carries the water. The heavier the hose, the more water it will, the more efficiently the pump will work.